Honey, I'm late for a luncheon with Jackie and Addie. Jackie? Oh, yeah, that's Angie's sister. They got one brain between the two of them, and today is Jackie's turn to use it. <laughs> oh, come on, Aunt Nell. Just give us a ride on down to the swap meet. Yeah, we love to watch the BMW owners buy back their stolen tape decks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm late. I really can't do it. Oh, all right, Joey. Come on. We'll take our bikes. I'll raise you. You're on. <laughs> just to borrow that car, and now I can't have it? I'm pregnant. My prenatal care is considerably more important than your incredibly stupid sock sale. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, they are not stupid socks. They are Norma Kamali anklets. But this is an emergency. I have to watch Pamela Kellogg get a haircut. You call that an emergency? Yes. She's the first student body president to ever get a buzz cut. <laughs> No kidding, where? At the spike and die. I'm pregnant. That's I'm pregnant. I'm going to get down to the shop. Because if I don't get down there, I'm not going to be able to get. <laughs> Two girls, please stop it. You're breaking my heart. Now, you know I hate to see you argue over that car. Now, in the past, I've tried to lead you with wisdom and guidance. Is that right? Well. <laughs> well, I've tried to point you in the right direction, haven't I? Well. <laughs> No, no. No. Oh, get out of here. You make me sick. Get in the car. So you guys all oh, made me sick. Hey. Oh, hi. Welcome back to Skipper Dwayne's House of Halibut. Yeah, what's the special today? It's Wednesday grilled cheese. I'll have a crab. Hi, girls. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, that's okay. You went ahead and ordered. I got crap. I just love crap. <laughs> you have a funny way of showing affection, girl. <laughs> well, what happened to you? Oh, honey, it was just your usual madhouse. Eddie, I swear to you, sometimes I feel like I'm living with a bunch of wild hyenas. <laughs> Weren't they the opening act for Lionel Richie? <laughs> We don't want to talk about it, Jackie. <laughs> it's at times like this that you really miss Angie. Want me to call her? No. <laughs> no. So tell me, how do you like your new job? Oh, well, Professor Stanley is really tough on faculty advisors. He demands you keep a low profile. But the extra money I'm making, sensational. Mm. Well, tell me that you have all that extra money. What you gonna do with your paycheck? Oh, come on. Honey, I already spent it. I bought a new car. Get out of here. Uh, yes. You did? Oh, Annie, that's wonderful. Uh, well, what are you gonna do with your old car? Oh, I'm buying it. <laughs> uh, thank you. You're buying Addie's car? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you sold her your convertible? Well, she offered me $1,500. That's only $300 below Blue Book, so it saves me the hassle of trying to sell it myself. You, 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 you're getting her car? <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, look, you better run to the ladies' room and wash that off. Someone want to go with me? Oh, sure. No, I mean, I mean, no, I need to talk to you. But I've never gone to the ladies' room at all. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, would you please go to the ladies' room? <laughs> she needs a partner. Of course. I've been in that spot myself. <laughs> Thank you. 
She'll be right back. Selling Jackie your car, huh? <laughs> no, is something wrong? Uh, tell me, Addie. Uh, we've been friends since we were um like four years old. That's right. I mean, we've been friends ever since the very first day we met, right? That's right. That's the day Bobby Joe Tyler tried to give me that tattoo. Yeah, and I stopped him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was always saving your little mm -hmm. ugly face from something. <laughs> time that you told your mama you were spending the night with me, but you really snuck out with Billy Dristel? I covered for you. I remember when my mama found out I lied, she grounded me for a whole month. So then you ended up going to my junior prom with my boyfriend. Well, you were rotten then, and you are rotten now. <laughs> Rocking to the core. <laughs> now, what are you going on about? Oh, please, now, what are you going on about? I should have known that one day you, Addie Wilson, my oldest, that's right, girl, you're old. My oldest and bitterest friend would one day sell the only car I ever wanted right from under me. Now, you already have a car. I ain't got no car! <laughs> Sam and Joey, but I ain't got nothing. Addie, please, I need your car. Please, I need your car. Please. Now, yeah. I already promised the car to Jackie. Oh. So those tears didn't mean nothing to you, did they? You are rotten. Much might like to have a fresh mallet. <laughs> If you want the car, you're going to have to talk to Jackie. I mean, I don't care who buys it as long as I get my $1,500. But leave me out of it. What happened to my crash? Shh. Keep it down. Addie's trying to keep a low profile. <laughs> come go to the ladies' room with me. I just come back from there. But I hate to go alone. <laughs> You really are lucky to be getting Addie's car. Well, yeah. It's my first major appliance. <laughs> I wished I had a convertible. I wish I had a car where you could lift the top down. That way, Grandpapa wouldn't keep bumping his head every time he has to sit on Katie's lap. <laughs> Somebody with a lower lap. <laughs> Do you know, one car is just not enough for a family of six. I mean, take today, for example. My poor, sweet, innocent, pregnant Julie. She had a doctor's appointment, and she was going to walk because she knew that I needed the car. She was going to walk six long miles. <laughs> Up a hill, hallelujah. <laughs> Through the snow. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I just can't help wondering what would happen if I were out in our only car donating blood <laughs> and Grandpapa needed to go to Social Security and Julie's time came. Poor baby. She would be stranded. She should carry a beeper. <laughs> you know, Julie would probably s start to walk all the way to the hospital with her luck. She probably wouldn't make it. Can you imagine her going into labor right on the corner of Fifth and Am, right in front of Bob's big boy? <laughs> that would be awful, because if it was a boy, then you'd have to name him Bob.
Exactly. <laughs> that was exactly the point I was trying to make, Jagger. That was exactly it. You know, Neil, you should get another car. But Jackie, I, I can't afford a penny over $1,500 for a car. Why don't you buy Addie's? But I can. I mean, she already promised it to you, Jackie. Oh, that's okay. Go ahead and take it. You sure? Sure. I like taking the bus. You never know who you're going to run into. I met my first husband on a bus and his wife. <laughs> Are you sure? Now, now, look, I tell you, if you ever need a lift, you just call me, okay? Well, come to think of it, Thursday... I'm busy I'm Thursday. To... <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen to me. I am telling you, she had most of her head shaved, and the rest of her hair she had dyed turquoise to match her choir robe. <laughs> I would not miss church on Sunday for anything. <laughs> just gave Addie Wilson a $500 deposit on her convertible. It is mine. You got a convertible? That means we can use our car! Oh, 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 Remember me on Mother's Day! <laughs> now, buying Addie's car was the dumbest thing you ever did. Why? Well, in Poland, we have a saying, never buy a goat from a friend. <laughs> I learned it the hard way. I did buy a goat from a friend in Krakow. I don't want to hear about your goats in Krakow. Hold on now. There's a point to all this. I bought the goat from a friend in Krakow, and the day after I bought the goat, it died. So it's hard to get feta cheese from a dead goat. Grandpapa, there is a big difference between a goat and a car. Well, they both have horns, don't they? <laughs> Better get a move on. Where are you going? Well, I'm going down to get my Springsteen tickets before five o'clock. <laughs> you can go in my new old car. Oh, Grandpa, what you get in? It is wonderful. Oh, Nell, I want to go home. We've been driving around for hours. Oh. Papa, come on, it's such a lovely day. Yeah, I know, but we've, we've gone past the nursing home four times already, and I'm just afraid that brazen hussy Mrs. Coolman may get the idea that I'm cruising. <laughs> okay, we'll head for home. I want to give this little baby a bath in a way. Did I ever tell you about the time I bought a goat in Krakow? Sixteen hundred dollars? I don't believe this. Sixteen hundred dollars to fix that car? Where am I gonna get that kind of money from? <laughs> Poor Addie. Poor Addie. What's Addie got to do with it? Well, you know how sensitive Addie is. I know she's going to offer to give me my money back. She finds out what happened. Oh, I'll get my camera. I'd like a picture of that. <laughs> if she doesn't give me my money back, I'll eat my hat. That's what the goat ate just before he died. <laughs> I'm sorry I took so long, but I was in a meeting with Professor Stanley. You know, as conservative and straight-laced as he is, he still approves of all my new ideas. Just have to remember to keep that low profile. You fire Lois Pendleton for laughing too loud in the cafeteria. <laughs> Addie. <laughs> I just feel so sorry for you. Your cute little convertible died. 
Oh, my goodness, what happened? Well, see, Grandpa and I were out riding along, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden there was this terrible noise, and the engine started to smoke, and all of a sudden it just collapsed. How awful. Yeah, no, but that was just before the electrical system caught on fire, and it burned my gorgeous snakeskin bag. Not the royal blue clutch. The clutch, that's another thing. It went out, too. <laughs> I just don't know where you're gonna get $1,600 to fix up your cute little convertible. You mean your cute little convertible? <laughs> nah, I mean your cute little convertible. <laughs> no, honey. I sold that cute little convertible to you this afternoon. Darling, I have had coffee breaks that have lasted longer than that car. <laughs> Baby cakes, uh, I'm sure you've heard the Latin phrase, caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. Well, sweet face, I'm sure you've heard the Latin saying, e plumis unum, now you give me back my money. No, yes, no, yes, no. Look, you have a pink slip that proves that you have the ownership. Well, honey, what? When you pay me the money you owe me, you can have the pink slip. I'll be at home. Hold it! I were going to give you your money, which I am not. I wouldn't have a way over to your stinking apartment anyway, because I don't have a car. <laughs> then ride your broom. <laughs> you want me to put sugar in our gas tank? Oh, Grandpapa, please grow up. <laughs> This is Nell. You know how much I hate talking to your stupid answering machine instead of you, but what I have to say can't wait. I'm real sorry about the argument we just had, okay? Um, why don't we meet tomorrow at lunch at Skipper Dwayne's? Um, say about noon? My treat. And Annie, um, I want you to know that you and our friendship, well, it means more to me than anything in the world, okay? do this to me. Would you like to go across the street and talk about it over lunch? And leave the car here with this lemon you painted on it? No way. Okay. Oh, look at there. There's Professor Stanley's wife. You go, Mrs. Stanley! <laughs> Is lunch sounding better to you? Oh, all right, let's go. Okay, come on. And remember, happy hour starts every day at 5. We have to paint a lemon on the other side, too. All right, two for lunch, please. We're out of crab. <laughs> and mallets. Uh, that's OK. I'm in the mood for chicken. Lemon chicken. <laughs> you have a table right there? Sure. And could we have two iced teas with lemon? <laughs> Nell, you are not going to get away with this. Mm. How would you like some shrimp cocktail with lemon? I'm not hungry. Well, won't you try a little of that dessert, some of that delicious lemon cream pie? <laughs> and if you run out of lemons, you can run across the street and squeeze my car. <laughs> you stop it. Give me back my money, Addy. No way. OK. How would you like it if I were to call the auto club and have them to tow your car over in front of Professor Stanley's office? You would risk my job for a lousy car? Money, you're upsetting the other customers. Does anyone here own a cute little convertible with a lemon on it? She does. <laughs> Sorry to tell you this, but there's been a slight mishap. It's what been, happened? It's been sideswiped by a cement truck. Sideswiped? All four sides. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
give me back my money, Addy. <laughs> you... Is something wrong now? No. <laughs> Come on now. It's Addie, isn't it? No. Huh? Well, if you're gonna drag it out of me. <laughs> it is, Addie. I mean, I just feel so terrible about this whole thing. And every well, aren't you gonna listen to me? Here I am pouring out my heart to any decent human being be hanging on to my every word. And you're gonna have a baby? I feel sorry for that child. <laughs> what seems to be the trouble now? Well, if you really want to know, it is, Addie. I haven't talked to her in over a week, and I've called her like five times, but she just hasn't called me back. I feel terrible. Well, the car she sold you did fall apart. I know, but it was all my fault. I mean, Grandpapa was right. You should never buy a goat from a friend. <laughs> well, aren't you upset about losing your purse? Oh, I love that bag. But what's an $80 purse compared to a lifelong friendship? Well, actually, you bought that purse on sale, so you didn't lose as much as you think. Well, I had money in the purse, so that brings it up to $594 if you count it. Who cares? Hi, Addie. Hi, Julie. Nell, can we talk? Sure. I'll go upstairs, but just remember, you're both okay. You're okay, and you're okay. And whatever happens, it's okay. Okay? <laughs> okay. okay. I'm not okay, Addie. I'm not either. Well, let me get this off my chest before I lose my nerve. Okay, um, look, you were right. I mean, I thought you did tell me, let the buyer beware. You even told me in two languages. Yeah, but now you had a right to expect more for your money. No, I... Here. What's this? It's your $500 deposit. No, 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 Eddie, I, I can't accept this. No, thank you. But now you bought the car in good faith. Oh, who knows what went wrong? Maybe I should have had the oil checked once in a while. I love you, Addie. I love you, too. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have you as my very best friend, Addie. Well, I'm gonna buy my best friend dinner, because I can afford it now, Nell. The insurance company paid me $1,800. <laughs> Exactly the point I was trying to make, Jackie. That was exactly. You know, Neil, 
know, you should get another car. <laughs> Jackie, I, I can't afford a penny over $1,500 for a car. Why don't you buy Eddie's? But I can. I mean, she already promised it to you, Jackie. Oh, that's okay. Go ahead and take it. You sure? Sure. I like taking the bus. You never know who you're going to run into. I met my first husband on a bus and his wife. <laughs> Are you sure? And look, I tell you, if you ever need a lift, you just call me, okay? Well, come to think of it, Thursday. I'm busy Thursday. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen to me. I am telling you, she had most of her head shaved and the rest of her hair she had dyed turquoise to match her choir robe. I would not miss church on Sunday for anything. Can I have your attention? I just gave Addie Wilson a $500 deposit on her convertible. It is mine. You got a convertible? That means we can use our car. Now, buying Addie's car was the dumbest thing you ever did. Why? Well, in Poland, we have a saying, never buy a goat from a friend. <laughs> I learned it the hard way. I did buy a goat from a friend in Krakow. I don't want to hear about your goats in Krakow. Hold on now. There's a point to all this. I bought the goat from a friend in Krakow, and the day after I bought the goat, it died. So oh, it's hard to get feta cheese from a dead goat. Grandpapa, there is a big difference between a goat and a car. Well, they both have horns, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Better get a move on. Where are you going? Well, I'm going down to get my Springsteen tickets before 5 o'clock. <laughs> Jackie, I mean, I don't care who buys it as long as I get my $1,500, but leave me out of it. Keep it down. Addie's trying to keep a low profile. <laughs> come go to the ladies' room with me. But just come back from there. But I hate to go alone. <laughs> you know, you really are lucky to be getting Addie's car. Well, yeah. It's my first major appliance. <laughs> I wished I had a convertible. I wish I had a car where you could let the top down. That way, Grandpapa wouldn't keep bumping his head every time he has to sit on Katie's lap. <laughs> couldn't he sit on somebody with a lower lap? <laughs> Do you know... One car is just not enough for a family of six. I mean, take today, for example. My poor, sweet, innocent, pregnant Julie. She had a doctor's appointment, and she was going to walk because she knew that I needed the car. She was going to walk six long miles. <laughs> Up a hill, hallelujah. <laughs> Through the snow. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I just can't help wondering what would happen if I were out in our only car donating blood <laughs> and Grandpapa needed to go to Social Security and Julie's time came. Poor baby. She would be stranded. She should carry a beeper. <laughs> Julie would probably start to walk all the way to the hospital with her luck. She probably wouldn't make it. Can you imagine her going into label right on the corner of Fifth and Am, right in front of Bob's big boy? That would be awful. Cause if it was a boy, she needs a partner. Of course. I've been in that spot myself. Thank you. She'll be right back. It's 
selling Jackie your car, huh? <laughs> now, is something wrong? Uh, tell me, Addie, uh, we've been friends since we were, um, like, four years old? That's right. I mean, we've been friends ever since the very first day we met, right? That's right. That's the day Bobby Joe Tyler tried to give me that tattoo. Yeah, and I stopped him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was always saving your little mm -hmm. ugly face from something. Do <laughs> <laughs> you remember the time that you told your mama you were spending the night with me, but you really snuck out with Billy Dristel? I covered for you. I remember when my mama found out I lied, she grounded me for a whole month. So then you ended up going to my junior prom with my boyfriend. Well, you were rotten then, and you are rotten now. <laughs> rotten, 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 rotten to the core. <laughs> now, what are you going on about? Oh, please, now, what are you going on about? I should have known that one day you, Addie Wilson, my oldest, that's right, girl, you're old. My oldest. <laughs> friend would one day sell the only car I ever wanted right from under me. Now, you already have a car. I ain't got no car! <laughs> he has a car, Julie has a car, Grandpa, Sam, and Joey, but I ain't got nothing. Addie, please, I need your car. Please, I want your car. Please. Now, yeah? I already promised the car to Jackie. Oh. So those tears didn't mean nothing to you, did they? You are rotten. Much more like to have a fresh mallet. <laughs> Look now, if you want the car, you're gonna have to talk to... Give me a break, now I know what it takes. I'm putting in new face on the old one. I'm late for luncheon with Jackie and Addie. Jackie? Oh, yeah, that's Angie's sister. They got one brain between the two of them, and today is Jackie's turn to use it. <laughs> oh, come on, Aunt No, Just give us a ride on down to the swap meet. Yeah, we love to watch the BMW owners buy back their stolen tape decks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm late. I really can't do it. Oh, all right, Joey. Come on. We'll take our bikes. I'll raise you! You're on. <laughs> that car and now I can't have it I'm pregnant my prenatal care is considerably more important than your incredibly stupid sock sale <laughs> <laughs> Julie they are not stupid socks they are Norma Kamali anklets but this is an emergency I have to watch Pamela Kellogg get a haircut you call that an emergency yes she's the first student body president to ever get a buzz cut <laughs> no kidding, where? At the spike and die. I'm pregnant. That's I'm near the car. I'm going to get down the shop. Because if I don't get down there, I'm not going to be able to get... <laughs> Two girls, please stop it. You're breaking my heart. Now, you know I hate to see you argue over that car. Now, in the past, I've tried to lead you with wisdom and guidance. Is that right? Well... <laughs> well, I've tried to point you in the right direction, haven't I? Well... I'm taking a call. No, no! Hey, oh, get out of here. You make me sick. Get in the car. See, you guys I'm all made me sick. Hey. Oh, hi. Welcome back to Skipper Dwayne's House of Halibut. Yeah, what's the special today? It's Wednesday grilled cheese. I'll have the crab. Hi, girls. 
I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, that's okay. You went ahead and ordered. I got crab. I just love crab. <laughs> you have a funny way of showing affection, girl. <laughs> well, what happened to you? Oh, honey, it was just your usual madhouse. Daddy, I swear to you, sometimes I feel like I'm living with a bunch of wild hyenas. <laughs> Weren't they the opening act for Lionel Richie? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, Jackie. <laughs> it's at times like this that you really miss Angie. Want me to call her? No. No. <laughs> no. So tell me, how do you like your new job? Oh, well, Professor Stanley is really tough on faculty advisors. He demands you keep a low profile. But the extra money I'm making, sensational. Mm. Well, tell me that you have all that extra money. What you gonna do with your paycheck? Oh, come on. Honey, I already spent it. I bought a new car. Get out of here. Uh, yes. You did? Oh, Eddie, that's wonderful. Uh, well, what are you gonna do with your old car? Oh, I'm buying it. <laughs> uh, thank you. You're buying Eddie's car? Uh-huh. <laughs> you sold her your convertible? Well, she offered me $1,500. That's only $300 below Blue Book, so it saves me the hassle of trying to sell it myself. You, 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 you're getting her car? <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, look, you better run to the ladies' room and wash that off. Someone want to go with me? Oh, sure. No, I mean, I mean, no, I need to talk to you. But I've never gone to the ladies' room at all. <laughs> Miss, would you please go to the ladies' room? <laughs> 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 